Oh, it's gone. All right. We're live. Happy Friday. Happy Oh, Friday. I need to step in front of the camera. Well, hang on. No, it's live. It's going. Um, oh, <laughs> with that we were trying to not have uh, Laura walking in the background of our video, but we, you know, we'll embrace her presence. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so today on uh, Friday, we are going to share a little bit of nerdy news. Before we get into nerdy news, <laughs> um, I do want to make an, another couple of announcements just about things that are going on with us. Um, we are in, still in hiring and growing mode over here. So uh, we have two new lovely individuals who um, have agreed to join the team. Uh, one is will be an employee with us and his forte is video particularly. Oh, so excited about that. Um, but also he has a pretty wide array of skills um, so he'll be doing kind of a, a wide array of things around here. And then the other one, um, his name is Michael, by the way. Um, and then the other person that we're bringing on board, um, we're going to use her as a contract basis, but um, her name is Allison and she does vector animations. Ooh, so much fun. Anything? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so her animation fun. skills are absolutely superb and I'm really excited. Um, it's something that we really haven't ever been able to offer before. So mm -hmm. just trying to round out the offerings and the things that we can do to help our clients grow. So um, yeah, so that's what's up with us. It's exciting <laughs> stuff. I know we're, we've been super excited and have lots of fun. Yeah. Um, all the plans. All the planning and plotting. And I mean, it's been a lot of extra work to, <laughs> to do to get all these people onboarded and moving along with us. but. We're really, I'm just really grateful for the opportunity. Um, and some of these, I'm like, I wasn't really planning on hiring for that kind of position or creating that. Um, but when the right skills when and where. match with the personality and just everything aligns, you gotta just grab it, right? You gotta just run with it. When and where. Um, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but today on Nerdy, it's we have a big fat nerdy news list for you. We have three kind of things to cover. So we're going to start out with some information about um, Instagram, about a feature that they've launched. Can I start with Instagram? Yep. Yeah. So we're going to start with Instagram. So on Thursday, Instagram launched a new feature called Reels. Yeah, IG Reels. It is a new way to create and discover entertaining videos on Instagram. Um, you can record and edit 15 second videos of multi-clip with audio effects and different kinds of creator tools. So to me, this is very reminiscent of another platform out there that we're gonna mm -hmm. dig into quite a bit deeper in the second segment of this episode. Yes, and if you're kind of familiar, you'll kind of guess, oh, that sounds a lot like TikTok. Yes, it does. Instagram's <laughs> at it again. Yeah, yeah. similar things, bringing everyone back to Instagram again and again. They are really, really well versed in taking those other ideas and making them their own and then just getting everybody to say on the Instagram platform. That's what happened, I think, of Snapchat as a primary mm -hmm. example. Um, that's where they came in with Instagram stories. Um, and now we're seeing this. Kind of YouTube with the uh, IGTV. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, people are around. That's the whole thing is they don't want you to ever leave their platform. Yes. Um, so I'm really excited to see what the capabilities are with Reels. But Kara, you have dug into. I have all my notes. <laughs> I've dug in. I've got the 411 for you guys. So should we dig in? Yeah, let's do all it. All right. So Instagram Reels. So how to, where can you share them? You can share them in your stories, on your feed. If you if you're, have a public account, they will be shared to a wider range audience through a new section called Explore. Um, so this is in your normal Explore page, it'll be set to there. If you're private, they won't be, but if you're public, it just means you have the opportunity to get noticed by more people who might not follow or might not be in the same location as your company, et cetera. So how do we reel? How do we do it? 
So um, <laughs> when you pop up your Instagram camera, whether you're doing it on stories or a post, there'll be a little thing that says reels at the bottom. It'll be like one of the little bubble choices. And if you're familiar with Boomerang, it's like right next to there. Um, so you will have that and then you'll have all the creative controls on the left-hand side of the screen. So your options for editing are audio, AR effects, timer countdown, align, and speed. So we'll dive in a little bit really quickly to those. So audio, you can still find a song um, and like TikTok, you can do original audio. So you can make your own, you can record the sound, add sound to it. Um, and then can people reuse your sound? That's the big thing. So I can see some pros and cons to this. So people can reuse your sound. When they look at your reel, they can tap on it um, the audio section and add to use to their to their own reel, which can be a pro for people who are um, in the music or sound industry and wanting to do things or, you know, like gifts where your face becomes a popular gif, your audio can be a popular part to these videos. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure later on there'll be more restrictions and it's things. More exposure for your brand at the end of the day. It is more opportunity. Because it does say where that it's like on TikTok where it says who original did the original audio. Original. Yeah. yeah, and most of the time um, for them to be able to use it, they have to attribute, which means they have to tag your business. So that's fantastic. Yep. Um, AR effects. So just meaning there's more different effects you can do on the videos and the gallery. Um, the timer countdown. So therefore you'll be hands-free. Hands yeah. Um, the align up. So <clears throat> this one is kind of tricky to understand if you're not familiar. So you know those videos where um, people who are product-based companies have them and they'll kind of like move around, but it looks like snapshot pictures. It's like that. So for instance, if the first like five seconds I'm moving like this, it'll pause. I can realign. Casey can go where I was, reline up, and it looks kind of like it just keeps going. So it'll line up your position. Um, <clears throat> a lot of like common ones are outfit changes, adding new friends, or like magic tricks. So they're seamless transitions oh, is what they are. Magic tricks. So I know <laughs> that Tim from FS, FFX um, Family Fun Experience that mm -hmm. just opened up at the oceanfront in Virginia Beach. I know he's a regular viewer of our videos. So I think that would be really cool for the really performers fun. or the performances um, to be doing those little um, IG reels for that. It's a great way to um, show some of your services and the different multi clips and being able to do that. And the last one is speed. So you can speed up or slow down not only your visual, but your audio as well. So you can change up your original sound and your music. Um, you can upload from your gallery. So that's a big plus. We're big on bashing content and, yep. you know, doing all of that when you can versus, you know, storyboarding. Some of these can be a little bit convoluted, I guess yeah. is a good way to put it. Yeah, that's a better word. <laughs> um, so you can use hashtags to be found in relevant searches. You can save a draft. Um, you can have a cover image and change that as well. You can add captions, hashtags, and tags. So make sure you tag your friends, tag anyone you partner all with. All your vendors, all your, you know, whoever you're you're, doing you're working with. with. Yeah. Um, if people, you know, are at your company and they're doing it, then they can tag you, which is awesome. Again, more exposure. Yeah. So then when you create that reel, where does it go? Where can people find it? So if you put it up in stories, it'll be only on for 24 hours. You can save it to your highlight bubbles, but you can post it to your feed, which if you post to your feed will show up on your main block, um, your main grid as it is from your home profile. Is there a separate spot on your profile that it goes to? There's also a separate spot. So you know how IGTV now pops up as one of the little options above your grid? There now will be a separate spot for reels. So there'll be, I guess there was four options before, now there's there's more. So, and it's like Instagram TV where it won't pop up until you've done it and you set it up. Um, so, Let's see what else. So there'll be a little button that you can click to say allow for feed. And that will be like kind of going in like a normal post would be um, for your friends and family, um, et cetera. Nice. So I'm thinking a couple of things about this. I know there's probably going to be a need for um, a workshop just on Reels. Yes. I think that Laura, if you're, you're probably not watching right now, I think you're driving, but <laughs> I'm going to hit up Laura and see if we can do a biz tools workshop just on this topic and go through step-by-step step, 
Um, and then for more information on it too, follow Instagram. Um, they're a great source of information. They have tutorials. They work very closely, obviously, with the other account, which is Instagram Business. And I know they work really closely with the creators account, which is um, part of Instagram, I believe. Yeah, so, so Instagram has at Instagram, at creators, and at Instagram business. Yes, and look to them. They'll have quick little tutorials on how to use like the green screen and stuff like that. They don't go in depth. They are very short, um, but if you can pick things up quickly or you just want to look and see, they do have that. They have a Q&A session and you should follow them anyways because that's how, you know, they how get we the latest news. New. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> um, we follow their blog. So <laughs> stay up to date with all the things. So to piggyback off of that, we talked a little bit how it's resembled, like it's very reminiscent <laughs> of TikTok. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about TikTok because there's a lot Ooh. going on in the news about TikTok. I know we have quite a few viewers who have experimented a little bit with using TikTok for their businesses. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of people have some anxiety about everything going on with, is TikTok gonna be banned? Is it going to be bought? Right. What's it gonna look like after that point? Do we so, wanna waste the money in either advertising on it, the effort of making it, the effort mm -hmm. or the money and time of giving it to someone else to do for your account? So we're gonna dive in, we're gonna do two different parts. One, we're gonna kind of cover, you know, um, what's happening with the news and the company. And then the second is going to be um, for your business, kind of giving you the rundown of why TikTok is something you should look into and possibly use for your business. So yep. the first part. So if you aren't aware or if you are, we'll just recap really quickly. So if you're not aware, Trump has um, a 45 day order, executive order that he has given um, for TikTok to make a deal with someone in the U.S. to sell to the U.S. So therefore, it would be no longer a part of ByteDance for the U.S. portion. So that deadline is September 20th. And here's the thing. After September 20th, no one in the U.S., no U.S. companies anywhere is going to be allowed to even discuss anything with them. That is why the 45 days is such a big deal. Yep. And what other countries are also in this discussion? Uh, so besides the U.S., uh, Australia and the United Kingdom. And it's rumored and Canada as well. Canada, maybe? We're yeah. not sure on that, but there are a few others. Possibly. Definitely involved in that. <clears throat> so what is the concern? So the concern is um, it, it auto captures internet and other network activity information, such as your location data, browsing, and search history. And a lot of you are saying, well, why, do I, why would I care if, you know, the Chinese Communist Party would have the information? It's not necessarily everyone. It's family members or extended people who work with anyone in the federal government, government contractors. Um, it's a conduct corporation espionage possibility. And there has been... Um, oh, my words you just dropped there. Oh, thank you. That's in my notes. Um, <laughs> Show my glasses today. <laughs> um, but there have been um, some leaks that are currently in Congress and in um, different court systems that there actually have been um, blackmailings, different kind of threats to higher le of leveled up people, um, which the government has put a ban on its military members using it. Yep. It's not commonly it's not known. really enforced. <laughs> um, I know like certain, some people of my friends in the military didn't even know that was a thing and they, yeah. they do or they don't have it. So that's the problem. So where do we go from there? Okay. Well, um, the big thing is, is that we all know probably now, if you watch the news that Microsoft is talks with TikTok. Five billion dollar yes. purchase estimate. It's, that's the estimate. And the thing is, is that we've heard that they're deeply, they're very far along in the talks. This could have been a few week long thing, mm -hmm. but we're hearing different stories. So yeah. TikTok claims that the U.S. data is stored in the U.S. and it's strict controls on its employee access. Mm -hmm. So they're saying employee access, but we're not sure of everyone's access or like hacker access. Yeah. So, so what they're saying is that for anything done in the U.S. is stored here in the U.S. And there is a CEO here in the U.S. who oversees the, yes. the operations of it here. But there are, from what I understand, there are backups of all the data mm -hmm. um, at ByteDance in China. Right. And so that's what the concern is. And, um, you know, this is where it gets confusing because Microsoft says it's going really well and um, that there's going to be an advancement. And then TikTok is saying it's not going anywhere and that they were very thrown off by an executive order, especially without due process. So that kind of takes care of all of that about what's that's, going on. That's the brief. That. 
<laughs> That's but our, we'll keep you, our we'll, news for today. Yeah, we'll keep you apprised of what's going on. We'll we'll break that down for you guys. Yes. But as far as Numbers. TikTok, yeah, as far as TikTok goes for business. Um, let's, let's share some interesting stats. So, right. So regardless of the order from a marketing perspective, it's not going anywhere. It's just going to get bigger. You know, the app has hired nearly 1000 people since the beginning of quarantine, they're expected and in the process of hiring 10,000 more employees by December. Um, the app has been downloaded 175 million times in the U S that's first downloads, not like repetitive downloads, first time uses downloads. Um, they have created a billion dollar creator fund to go to those creators in need, especially during this time. And they're in 154 countries. There's 100, oh no, sorry, 1 billion users, 175 million downloads just in the U.S. Um, as far as the, the kind of audience information goes, so we want to share a little bit of demographic data. Uh, the target audience is about 13 to 40. That's a large range. On a monthly basis, there are 800 million monthly active users of TikTok who spend an average of 52 minutes per day. Um, uh, ages, what is that? Ages four. So the ages of four to 15 are spending an average of at least 80 minutes a day. This isn't the maximum. That's the minimum. The average. Mm -hmm. Average. Yeah. Um, that's a huge chunk of time. So this next one kills me because it's probably so true. Um, so most users have opened the app eight times each day. That's right up there with Facebook, guys. Yep. That's Facebook, the, coming, Facebook's eight. It used Facebook to be eight. 12 or 13 a few years ago, but it, it's bumped down to eight. 83% um, of users have posted a video to their profile. Um, about 60 in the US, about 60% of users are female, 40% male. 60% are aged 16 to 24 versus 26% uh, are 25 to 44. So if you kind of lump those together, 80% of TikTok users overall are 16 to 34. So if those are your ages of your demographic, if you're you trying to target, seriously want to consider this. Yeah. 60% um, are Gen Zers because they are the trendsetters. And that's important because they're the ones that set the trends of what's going to be popular, what's going to be viewed the most, and what kind of competitions are going to be set in on TikTok. So that's why that generation is the most important. They're the ones that are also um, linking up everything and taking the time to link and share links, which is important for your business. Yep. Um, so let's see. The estimate for TikTok to pull in this year alone, just in the U.S., is $500 million. Um, so with that, let's talk about like how they, how they make that money um, mm -hmm. through advertising. Right? So um, there are, let's see, there have been rumors that they're paying influencers to join the app. One, people who haven't, or influencers, but have not yet joined, $500. Saving them $500 just to join, just to join. Um, brand takeover ads are ranging from anywhere from $20,000 to $200,000 each. Um, challenge, hashtag challenges um, are costing brands somewhere around $100,000. And if you're saying those are crazy numbers, we agree. Yeah. <laughs> However, if you do it right and you're not, that's paying for their whole marketing team. So let's right. say like you don't have your own marketing team, you're not outsourcing, that's for their full services. So don't be afraid. It's okay because mm -hmm. ad campaigns start at only $50. $50 a day. A day. That's no long-term commitments. Right. Um, they recommend. Uh, this is what they recommend though. This yeah. is the, these numbers are bananas. We're not even going to share them because they're bananas and over a hundred thousand dollars yeah. is what they recommend for an ad. So let's say because TikTok is obviously another game changer for the influencer market and you're thinking, oh, I would love to get into the influencer market and you're trying to decide, do I pick someone local with lower followers or do I want to go up a tier and pick some people maybe in a little bit more national so I can kind of like get my product out. Well, influencers right now with um, less than 10,000 people are about 50 to a hundred dollars, um, to pay them to do a post for you. If they are 10 to 20,000, thousand followers, it's a hundred to $200. Now, if they have 2.5 million followers, I love that jump, <laughs> which you would think, oh my gosh, how does that happen? It can happen. 
TikTok overnight on average has had it happen within six hours for a person, for an individual person. So 2.5 million followers can charge 600 to a thousand dollars per post for a single 60 second video. Crazy. Crazy, crazy for sure. Um, brands can create their own AR lenses, filters, and stickers. And they're also TikToks actually incentivizing uh, advertisers and brands to jump on and, and try out their advertising. So I know we recently signed up for our own account. And at first we were offered like a $300 credit. I didn't use it right away or I haven't used it at all. And so uh, now it's been bumped to $2,300 worth of free ads. We signed up for it on Friday. Today's Friday. Yeah, so a within later. a week, they bumped it up because we haven't had any activity on our account, which by the way, we're sorry we didn't end up making any oh. videos. Life got busy. There will be some in the next few weeks. I promise you, yeah. I will be working on them. I'll be making them a priority. We'll, we'll be doing that. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the whole TikTok thing. But the last piece of this is that there's more news. I don't know how many of you have seen it happen yet with your Facebook account, but it's a whole new user interface that they've released. Yes. It was in beta mode for a while. We saw it with one of our I clients. I yeah. was so excited. <laughs> I was one of the first people to beta mode it. I was so excited. Um, but now it's getting rolled out to everybody. So I just want to give people a heads up on what that looks like. Because it's different. totally different. It's really pretty. <clears throat> it's very amazing. pretty, but it's definitely a whole new You might need to experience. do a separate little workshop of showing everyone kind of. So yeah, everything. Laura and I were talking about that the other day for a workshop topic is going through and doing something like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen yes. now and, and show you. Um, and quick disclaimer, there are a few pages that they haven't worked out yet. So you might get a message when you try and go like on your publishing page or anything like that, that it's not in the new form. So it'll just give you a pop up. Don't worry about it. It's not going to mess with anything. It's just telling you that the page is going to look different than the rest of the of the um, yeah. page. So your whole Facebook, like as soon as you log in, it'll look different. But um, from the page perspective and the business perspective, it's definitely different and like uh, a little more confusing about where to go to find <laughs> certain mm -hmm. things. Uh, so you no longer have that long menu up top. Everything's on the side here. So um, your page settings and everything are altered here. Your menu is for your user is no lo longer on the left side. Now mm -hmm. it's dropped down here below your cover and profile photos. Right. And not all of your options are going to be able to be seen. So that that thing where we always tell you guys to prioritize yep. is going to be even more important now. Yeah, you're going to need to rearrange those menu items um, and make sure that whatever you want seen first is shown in the top four sections. Mm -hmm. um, so it just it looks a lot different as we scroll down through here to um, just kind of a different different little layout. Um, and then especially when you get into those like trying to find your different settings to give page role access to access um the to average the home page too because that yeah really that's what really threw me off was the home page <laughs> so um i'll show you guys are very large show you here my charge. my craziness um of my personal one but yeah so your shortcuts are really loud and in your face there of all your different pages and groups and things like that um and then you know you have like your stories up at the top, but it's just, it's definitely different. <laughs> um, so I just kind of wanted to give you all, if you don't have this yet happening on yours, just kind of want to give you a little preview um, so that when you see it, you're like, oh yeah, I remember them talking about this. And it's not, it's not so um, scary. <laughs> I thought like my screen was enlarged um, <laughs> when it first came up, but it's fun. It's exciting. Again, if you get that little notification that says, Hey, it, it hasn't been designed for this page yet. Don't worry about it. Just click the X. Everything will be okay. normal. It'll be okay. Yeah. So look for, we're going to do some biz tools workshops on these different topics. Um, and then also watch next week for five minute ish Friday. We are going to have our new marketing strategist stuff on with us. And we're going to cover, we're just going to introduce her a little bit and, uh, also, we'll be celebrating Kara's two-year anniversary um, as part of the CC team. So um, the first 
like employee on our team. So we're going to do Yay. some celebrating. <laughs> there might be, I don't know, there might be cupcakes and confetti. We'll see. Balloons. Um, <laughs> so join us for that. Um, in the meantime, drop your questions in the comments as <laughs> always. We're always help you, happy to help and answer anything you might have that's flowing on your mind when it comes to marketing or design. Um, have a lovely weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye.